is essentially a mechanism to diagnose students' current learning levels, understand their gaps, understand where they need to go, and then take, um, do the teaching. Now, you could do this without tech, but you could also do it with tech. And the power of tech is that it can personalize for individual students. And that's really powerful. This is something even the best teachers in the world are not able to do if they've got a class of 30. And we know class sizes can be much bigger than that. So this important aspect of how it can diagnose and then address learning is really important. We know that personalized adaptive learning software actually has impact and it increases learning outcomes for children in the early grades, um, grade one, two, and three, and for literacy as well as numeracy. And we have evidence of, of that. Let's think about how. You can do it before a lesson, you can do it during a lesson, you can do it after a lesson, and you can do it with children who've not been in school. Examples of using it before the lesson, say I'm going to teach something next week, I can set some revision homework for children to do pre the lesson that so they've come in having revised that. Maths teacher, so imagine I was going to be teaching two digit addition, I would be like, okay, go and revise one digit, digit addition. And so children are coming prepared to the lesson. During the lesson, students can be working on personalized learning so um, solutions and help me to reduce my class size. So if I've got 30, put 15 during um, to do the PAL, and then other 15, I'm doing targeted instruction too. Also, they can just be all around the cl um, classroom without a teacher um, perhaps having facilitated learning, freeing up the teacher to do something else. After the classroom, again, going back to the point of make, what makes teachers' lives easier, they could be marking. Um, so I can set an exercise where I've just taught, the, uh, go and do the homework um, uh, on the PAL solution, get it marked automatically so that I don't have to mark, but importantly, I get a readout of who's completed, what their weaknesses are, and what I should do about it. And the final use case for PAL solutions is we have um, many, many children, not necessarily in India, but in, in, in um, um, sub Saharan Africa who've not been to school or have dropped out. And so them having access to a personalized adaptive learning solution um, can really help to bridge some of that learning that they might have missed out on. Thank you.